Hello, and welcome back to uh, Comedians Interviewing Musicians, presented by Music First Hand. Um, my name is Becky Jo Neal. This is my lovely co-host, Kim Stacey. Kim Stacey. I thought I was going to say my own name, so I got excited. Well, I just wanted to double up and then give you a list, but I thought that'd be good. We are <laughs> just a little. Um, we are here joined by the Blowies, an yeah. Austin awesome band. So in uh, internet round of applause for that one. Uh, ooh, we still have a bunch of people come in and watch it. Hi, Scott ooh. Collins. Hi, Jimmy Mercado. Hi. He just wrote. Mm. What up, Jimmy? Yeah. Jimmy, plays, Jimmy plays drums with us sometimes. Oh, hi, yeah. You'll see him in the music videos. There we ooh. go. He's, here. He's just here to see himself. Fine. <laughs> um, this is episode 137. It is. Good job. I never, ever get that right. Usually it's no, like. No, I'm so half. proud of you. What number of quarantine videos is this, though? Don't don't ask dumb fucking questions, Kim. I don't the know. The number is Lady Gaga. Yes. The number does not. The limit does not exist. Exactly. Um, and quarantine. I know I've, we've all obviously been isolating for several months now. How have you guys been holding up? How have you been entertaining yourselves in quarantine? Yeah, so uh, you want. sure, I'll start. Um, it was a rough start. You know, like, we, we went from going full blast, like, South by Southwest was about to start. You know what happened to that? And then uh, everything was canceled right away. But I was fortunate to keep my job, so I've been working from home and doing my best to see people outside small small gatherings outside um and other than that i mean like i've been bored i drank a lot of margaritas um Ooh. and it's it's been boring you know yeah. what, what do you, uh, like watch a lot of movies like you, you you mentioned you're watching cult documentaries and stuff kim but i've been watching like hulu horror films and yeah have you found any good play? ones uh, yeah, no, there's nothing really great, but like no. it's kind of fun, you know. Yeah, it's I've kind been of really just bummed. bad fun. Yeah. Um, I guess there's nothing else though, so you know. Yeah. yeah it's fine. It's fine. What about you, Tucker? How have you been holding up? Doing all right. Um, it's been definitely an adjustment, you know, washing the groceries every few times a week. And uh, still, still doing that. I stopped doing that. We, uh, I went to go see my parents in Florida, and we, uh, my wife and I rented an RV, and that was interesting. <laughs> that was the whole thing. Uh, oh. But we did that, you know, just to try and stay in the vehicle the entire time, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is an interesting concept. It's like, you know, it'd be nice if you could just teleport from one location to the other. <laughs> you should. Oh God! Um, I mean, oh, as yeah. Alex Martin responded with this, and Sandy Jake Jacober Jacober says, "Hello, Blowies!" with like ten exclamation points. I love an over excuse for an exaggeration. Please, all the punctuation. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah and Alex. Yeah. And, uh, basically, if you're for the people who are tuning in now and are maybe never seeing our show, we have options for you. We we we're gonna pin. Y'all have a Venmo, right? That we can. They have a you. band camp. Band camp, perfect. And I think Chris is going to pin that in the comments. Yeah. So that if you're having a good time and you want to throw some bones to the blowies, please tip away on that pinned comment. And if you're having a double good time and you want to continue joining and supporting us, join our patron, Patreon. Why can I never say that? Fucking I don't cool. know, but I love watching you do it. Ugh. It's like, it's actually, it's like on My Favorite Murder. Georgia can't say addict. She always says addict. That's my addict. I cannot. <laughs> can say Patreon. So bad. But, uh, if you're having a good time, please consider joining to our patron, Patreon. And we'd like to thank our patrons for joining us. I did it again, but I tried to run over it, Kim. Shut up. I know. I couldn't help but point it out. Also, another shout out to our sponsors. Thanks to uh, all of our incredible Spotlight Tier people who have continued to support us through the quarantine. We love you and we mean it. Uh, as far as music goes during quarantine, have you guys been doing like live stream shows or any impersonal concerts? No. Not really. We, uh, we've done an interview and uh, we've, we've had uh, some music played during that and stuff, but, but nothing, uh, nothing live. We recorded some music on our own and separately, you know. Who was the interview with? My what was his ask. name? Do you remember? Uh, Chris, Chris, Col Chris Collins. Yes. Oh. Chris uh, Collins. Sky, I forget, this guy in LA and he does a, 
I guess it's kind of it's like a talk show. It's kind he talks about all sorts of stuff, but they do a music. Super cool dude. And cool. Been, you know, plugging the band, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Early on, we did a uh, we did like an in home recording session to like separately and collaborated that way, which was kind of fun. So that's it wasn't like live or anything like that, but we we were able to create a song that is now available. Yeah. Right. The, the pandemic inspired song. Yeah. So yeah, yeah they're still finding time to, even though you can't. Yeah, I, I guess that's my follow-up question. Like, is it harder to find inspiration for things being locked up, or is it easier because you're like stuck with your thoughts all day? For me, I find it's, it, it's a lot harder. I find it harder for sure. Um, I, I I gain a lot of I, I get a lot of inspiration from being out, seeing people, and going to shows and things like that. I'm cooped up at home. I'm cooped yeah. up. I get you know I get depressed and stuff. Yeah, it's tough, it's tough to have creative output when there's very little input that's any different from like a pretty stagnant daily routine. Yeah, yeah. thank you. You don't make songs about washing your dishes or taking <laughs> well, a crap. Actually, our song was we did uh, wash the groceries in our song. It was called. It was about the CDC. It's called CDC. Woo! And it's it's about the first few weeks of the pandemic and. Right. All the craziness that ensued. Yeah. Who yeah. knew we were still going to be isolating and self quarantining now in March? Like, would you have done? I feel like everybody would have done something different, but I would have mm. like, I would have, I would have tried to figure out earlier what the fuck I was going to do for the next. Like, I feel like I should, we all yeah. kind of were like, well, it's not going to. Well, what is this? Eight weeks? We, you know, first quarantine was like ten weeks, and we're like, we can do this. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. It does seem kind of like. Maybe like a little bit of wasted time there at the beginning. But. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would have been nice to have like a tornado warning, you know, it was like, please evacuate the city now. And then like we could all, you know, be in Europe where most of it's handled. We could be in New Zealand where there have been a hundred straight days in a row without a case. Oh. I think they actually just had some reported today. Damn it, Tucker. <laughs> Sorry to ruin it for you. Oh what? my God, my go. Shire, the Shire. <laughs> Someone call Bilbo. Make sure he's okay. I don't think he is okay. If we're gonna follow up on that, the man's name is Bilbo. Um, what? how about? What can we? Can we? We're gonna. We're doing something a little bit differently. Normally we do um live recordings. Um, but we have some music videos. Yeah, we have a special surprise. It's not really a surprise, but it's something special uh, that we're going to view uh, the Blowies music videos. So here's my cue. Are you ready for this? Well, it's time for a music video. Jesus. <laughs>
let go. Well, that was confusing as shit, but we did it. We did it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, yeah. Please, please. <laughs> remember, this is our first time doing it like this. So, uh, I don't yeah. know. Be patient. Be kind. No one. No, who knows? Kind. Uh, but thank you again. We're back. We're joined here with the Blowies, uh, episode 137 of Comedians Interviewing Musicians. As far as, this is the section where we kind of talk about what we've been stalking of you is standing on the line, like your Instagram, your Facebook. I yeah, can't wait. <laughs> I know, right? You have the good stuff. Um, my first question is, are you sponsored by H-E-B and why do you take so many goddamn pictures in the grocery store? Tucker, that's all you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love fruits and vegetables, you know? It's it's something we can all get behind universally. Uh, oh yeah, even the Cookie Monster now has fruits or something, isn't he? Like, isn't he the? He yeah, just, he's, he's trying to help with child diabetes. Yeah, because mm. the Muppets are going to help with that. Except you know, he was didn't have time for it with us. So <laughs> thanks, Cookie Monster. Rude. It was, it was a that little photo awkward. shoot was like right before the pandemic and yeah, I really that's... miss I really miss going to the grocery store now. <laughs> it was in I look I think back we did on those pictures February. fondly. Oh. That might have been the last time I was in an H E B, actually. Can yeah, you get them all delivered now? The delivery yeah, is well I do pick up. Oh smart. Yeah. yeah. But uh that was actually kind of an awkward uh photo shoot. It was also really fun. Like we went and took that shopping cart and got all the bananas. We had to put them in there. Basketball <laughs> bananas. It was like Mario Kart, man. It was like weird. <laughs> throwing them out. That was tripping fun. up Wario. That was the deal. Yeah. Uh, I have a food related question because uh, you took a picture, I don't know how long ago. I usually go way back on your <laughs> pages. So who's to say? Okay, I do have I don't like, remember. yeah, I have like 2014 questions on here. So get ready for it. Oh, yeah, I can. Uh, but. So you have a picture of you guys in front of uh, some Lunchables. Uh, what is your favorite Lunchable? Oh, easy. I like the one with the chocolate and the M&Ms. Wait, is it just, are you just saying a bag of M&Ms? <laughs> no, it, it, it was a Lunchable, but instead of like pizza sauce and cheese, it had like That's spreadable right. chocolate and M&Ms. That's awesome. It was made by Lunchables too. It was like a Lunchable brand. It was great. That's not Here's lunch. And it yeah. came out with the, like the little pizza, the little pizza crust, the same pizza crust, except it was chocolate instead of. Okay. Pizza crust. Talking like about cookie. child di diabetes. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Come that on. was a treat. That was a treat. Yeah. yeah. Tucker, do you have one? I remember they used to come with like uh, crunch bars in them. I was into the the yeah. crunch bar. <laughs> you like the bars. Like in, in yeah, town. granola bars, <laughs> You're bars, granola yeah, bars yeah, and yeah. yeah, crunch bars. Uh, is yeah. there a Lunchable that you wish existed? Ooh. They don't have a margarita Lunchable. <laughs> Does, do they? do yeah. those cocktail kits count? You know, the ones that like, you like <laughs> yes. take to the airport? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we can get like a Capri Sun type of Wine coolers. margarita. Yeah. <laughs> That would be great. Perfect. Just, just just in there, and then you get like tacos with it or something, yeah. and we can make that happen. I once I once tweeted at Lunchables. I was like, I so I'm probably gonna get up in a, over a fist fight over this, but y'all have had the superior pizza sauce since day one. Perfect amount of oregano. It's delicious. And literally, Papa John's hate tweeted me, and I was like, Who the fuck invited you? No one asked. Why is Papa John's calling <laughs> Lunchables. Hate. Hey. Tweeted you? Yeah, they were like, we tried over decades to perfect our sauce. And you think they usually like basically was like, how dare you equate Lunchables? Like, okay, Papa John's, racist old white guy who's barely Italian, please tell me how. No, no, no. That's really funny. Because if Papa John's was talking about garlic sauce, then yes, their garlic sauce is superior. But ain't nobody asking them about their garlic sauce. <laughs> about Lunchables pizza. Come on. Okay. Damn it! I love when I get so angry about Lunchables. The vein in my neck bulges out. It's like Lunchables. Yeah, and no. John's being over here. It's yeah. I'm I'm glad that you got so heated over that question. <laughs> Important. It's political, Kim. Yeah, apparently. Mm -hmm. I love um, it. I I guess this this is this isn't a question, but in my stalking, I did find the best band review on your Facebook page. There's like two of them, and okay. one of them is this guy. And it's from it's Dugan, Dugan Flanagan, which is... Oh, yeah, Duggan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Duggan's even better. Duggan Flanagan. Uh, these cats have been in bands since before they could shave, 
and we're international rock stars by 15 and up. Meaning like, what, you just peak at 15 and you're just like, not. But then they came to slay you and bring you back from the dead. Damn, Duggan. Oh yeah. Ooh. Duggan's the man. He, uh, yeah, he's been a fan for, for uh, 15 years. Yeah. He uh he has a he has a, a book of poetry out too. He's like a staple in the Austin music scene. The guy is awesome. Comes to a bunch of shows. He knows I everybody. Comments. I love when people leave review like screw a weird Yelp review that's like the place was cool but the AC was cranking too hard. Like whatever. No one actually came. But like if everyone could review their bands, wouldn't that be nice? Just like how all bands know like yeah. That's yeah. so sweet. Yeah, that's a that was a I remember that comment. That was really nice. Really nice. Yeah. Guys, what yeah. would be your like dream band review? Other than they came to slay and bring you back from the dead, obviously. Damn. <laughs> Put me on the spot. If uh, Keith Richards gave us the thumbs up, that'd be pretty cool. Just, a thumbs up just... for Keith would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> just a thumbs up emoji because I know he probably. Yeah. Had oh, absolutely. <laughs> and it would just like quote on your website. Keith Richards said. Yeah. And that's like, <laughs> somebody go wake up Keith Richards from his Xanax nap and get him <laughs> right now. Oh, uh, I have a question. Who is Charlie? Charlie. Some Charlie's like, God damn it, guys! I gave you my name Who twice. Is Charlie? Who, Who is Charlie? Who is Charlie? It's a unicorn. Oh, Charlie the unicorn. Yeah. Yeah, like Charlie, you stole my kidney or that guy or my lung. What was it? Charlie. Like yeah. that one? Oh, it took my friggin' kidney. Yes. Dude, Tucker, yeah. you posted something about this. I remember. Oh, did I? Oh, there was a unicorn. Was it, was it at the, the, was lost, at the well? lost Well? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, you said Charlie is here. Yeah, yeah. So there's an old, like, uh, uh, video from the early days of the internet, I guess. Uh, it's like an animated video of a unicorn. And uh, he try it. into this rainbow candy mountain castle, and then he's like, all these cute little candy things start popping up, and he wakes up, and they've taken his kidney. And the course is just like, son of a bitch, they took my kidney. Yeah, yeah. And they're all calling out. They're, they're all no, calling out. Charlie, Charlie. Good yeah. <laughs> for having an adventure, Charlie. What do you guys do on the internet? Bro, this is really For the record, I've never seen this video. Yay! This is instead of doing homework, man. This is like oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> well, Sam and I passed high school, so I'm finding it and I'm True. immediately putting it. I am putting it on yeah. the comments. It's has <laughs> has anybody else? Uh, anybody who's watching seen this Charlie video? They had I to. they had to. No, is uh, early normcore on the internet, Kimberly? Yeah, because that's. Yeah. Up right up my alley. Uh, so you also um, had a really cool Easter Bunny picture. Of mm. is this? Maybe. I'm bringing up. All... <laughs> no, no. Is it from our account, from the Blowies account on Instagram yeah, or something? Yeah. Well, the yeah. Charlie was on there. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Yeah. Easter Bunny. Oh man. What what did the Easter Bunny look like? I think I still have it saved hey, can you here show us? in our in my saved photos. Uh, no, it's on us. Uh, it's on Sam's Instagram. Oh, oh. I can it's explain from 2018. Yeah. Okay. So that was actually taken in probably 2009. Right. That photo. Yeah, I can tell because of the haircuts. Yeah, the hair. Yeah. So that's actually a different band. And uh, yeah. it was it was my first band ever called The Steps, and we were in the uh, we were on tour somewhere in the was... United States, <laughs> and uh, and uh, we we were in a mall. Don't yes. know why we were there, and it was <laughs> because... Easter around that time, and we decided to take a picture with the Easter Bunny. And that's did you how... use it as an album picture? Because it's pretty uh, great. We should have, but no, we didn't. We didn't. Um, you know, maybe if we ever like get back together, we could use that as a. As you hear that, Tucker? You're that? I think we could, we could probably use it for an album. Yeah, why don't yeah. more people get their albums done with that like should be, Santa? That should be our album cover, Sam. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, just a picture of the the other band. <laughs> the other band, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's super confused when they see you. And, in we, and we could we could and we could just call it the steps. <laughs> yeah, the blowies, the steps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I did have a question. That's a good. I'm glad you found that picture. That's a good one. So. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. It's like we should post it in the comments or we'll put it on our Facebook. Yeah, stories. share it. Share it. Pretty cute. <laughs> um, yeah. Why don't more bands get their album art done at like a Sears with the Easter Bunny? How funny is that? Damn That's where I want to get my engagement photos done. Genius. You know, it, it's funny you mentioned that because when I was a kid, I don't know if you guys ever did this, but when I went to Disney World. I uh, took photographs and like I have a physical photograph of yeah. me and my family with superimposed animations of all these Disney yes. characters. Do you guys have any of those? No, um, I was too poor and also in a cult um, when I was growing up, so I couldn't oh. go to Disney. Mm. Hence all the Sorry. I feel like <laughs> Disney is a bit of a cult in its own right. Totally is. Oh, absolutely. I'm part of that cult now, but I was already taken (laughs) back then. Uh, No, I would love to have photos like that, though. I mean, I have pictures of my sister and I on like, what are those? What are those the Star Wars things that we're like writing on? And we both have gliders. Yeah. And we both have the like, the most bowl cut. I at, at that same trip to Disneyland, I was like writing, I was holding a door open for an old lady. Something and I'm wearing a two piece Minnie Mouse bikini and like a big old stupid Minnie Mouse bow, but my haircut oh, yeah. was so heinous. She literally was like, Thank you, young man, and just patted me on the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you know, awesome. My gender dysphoria. No, but they have pictures of Jamie and I on these like glider things, and are, it's the most 90s picture ever. Bull cuts, back <laughs> shorts, those new balances with the fucking squiggly shoelaces because we were oh, idiots. Oh, those are oh, sick. Oh my gosh. I totally Dude. thought about oh. those. I know. Wow. Where the, oh, man. Where are those back? back to sixth grade. Right? Yeah. Or like the pom-poms, you know, like the fuzzy pom-poms on your shoes. Do you remember the shoes that would light up when you stepped? Oh, yeah. I see that now with kids and I get so pissed off. They, they need to make them for adults. adults. They need adults. Yes. I've been saying yeah. that for years. Yeah. They, yeah, they do me. like in like, um, you can get them like on the Wish app, you know, in China. Oh. They have everything over there. I bet if we Googled it right now, we could probably find it somewhere oh, for adults. Yeah. There's oh, yeah. Of, no, there's there adult, is. Adult light up shoes. But why oh, isn't that more mainstream? I feel like oh, that no. should be something we're all aware of. And we yeah. All have. It's and because we all have. Like perfect for nighttime running, you know? Like. Yeah. <laughs> or, or nighttime, nighttime COVID walks. You know, when when you're waiting for the sun to go down, yeah, so they can so, see you so coming. You're not baking <laughs> yeah. in a hundred degree weather. Yeah, it's for your safety. Not yeah. only, like kids should not be the only ones who are safe. That's rude. Equal parts <laughs> swag. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we we should put a link to those shoes next to the Charlie video. Undoubtedly, so yeah. Everybody's next COVID yeah. purchase. Oh no, they make. Nice ones. Oh, and they have light up stripper shoes. Damn it to hell. (gasps) Oh, I did have a pair of those that my mom got from a yard sale when I was in high school and gave them to me. And I was like, are you trying to say something? (laughs) She was like, no, I mean, these are for, you know, if you do a show and I'm like, like what Rocky horror, that's the only thing I would wear these in. And she got me like these like giant red heel, like, yeah. Like the yeah. Inch, yeah, like yeah, but like and then like the thin, you know, like the the zombie killer shoes. Yes, oh, the yeah. blade like. Yeah. by Miami, where some girl they're in a, like a foam party, and some dude gets like a stiletto to the temple because. Oh like, yes, I've seen that episode. Oh yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> it's, it's pretty sexy. It was, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna post these adult light up shoes. If you're having fun, please. Uh, <laughs> Uh, support them on Bandcamp. It's a pinned comment at the bottom, or join our Patreon. I did it. I said the word correctly. I'm Patreon. so proud of you. You're welcome. Um, it's only because I've had one beer today. That's why. Okay, then I'll put the adult light up shoes in the comments so you can all get your swag on. And uh, why don't we hear? Why don't we see another video? Okay, ready? Yes. Well, yes. it's time for another music video. I guess we should be quiet this time. I need an AK to 
feel like a man. I need an AK to know who I am. The kids at school, they don't understand. I need an AK to feel like a man. Just in case So I pray to the NRA So the dance don't take my guns away oh. I need a Okay, this is the chunk of our show where we like to play a game and because I like to make my life hard on myself in the last year, I've been trying to curate like specialty games specifically just for you guys and all the names of bands and names of people. Yeah, like I have to get, you know, I have to feel the inspiration every now and then and I uh, obviously could not look a gift like the name The Blowies in the mouth. So... I decided I'm going to quiz you on how much you know about the history of the modern blow-up doll. Oh, boy. I also would like to oh, say great. that no one's commented on the fact that I'm wearing things that you blow on. So, like, pizza that's too hot. And then <laughs> a blow pop. Ooh, those are awesome. I like that. That's so... Where did you get the, uh, where did you get the, the lollipop? Uh, I got them from Lucy in Disguise. Oh, man. I got to try to find some of those. Yeah. Those are awesome. Are you gotta, we, should those. Sell that. we should sell those as merch. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just need to resonate. Those are super cool. Yes. Immediately. You could, you could hear us through your ears, and then you could wear us on your ears. Yeah. I love it. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Like, nice. That's how they're marketed. That's great. I love that. Yeah. We're yeah. Through, 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 I love it. Through, 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 and out you of need, your ears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In and out. Yeah. I wonder if you could like we'll, do. Like, we'll fill both of your ear holes. Ooh, the blowies filling all of your ear holes since no, 1999. No, 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 Kim. No. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, good stuff. Is that that's what people want to see on the internet. I guess that's that's fair. I mean, there's a corner of the internet for everybody. Uh, there is. Yeah. Um, apparently. <laughs> Up until recently, a good majority of the world believed that Hitler invented the blow-up doll. That is not true. Uh, so I don't understand where that rumor came from. It's because, well, yeah, it's... I'll, I'll explain it to you. Because the irony of the man who was riddled with syphilis and a complete fucking asshole wanted to keep his SSH safe from disease-ridden sex workers in France. Also, they did not use the term sex worker. It was a much grosser term. And <laughs> that they were trying to keep them safe. Lies. It was not true. Um, but then again, they're all just sharing this blow-up doll. It's like some gross church camp cult. Gross. But they were all passing around the same doll? Yeah, you think they had money to give everybody their own blow No. And where does that fit in your army unit? Where does that go in your backpack? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so can you guess what century it is estimated that Dutch sailors made the first fuckable doll, which, mind you, was a bunch of wet rags they molded into the shape of a female form. Seems about right. Uh, so what Man, if it was 
Dutch sailors, it would have probably been the uh, somewhere in the 1300s. Close, close. What's your guess, Samuel? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go 1400. I'm going to go 1400s. Yeah, of course. Sorry. Uh, what was the last bit there, uh, Alex? Wait, way to go, Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bob, what was the last? A uh, dollar, Bob. A dollar. <laughs> One ninety nine. Ninety nine. No, um, Kim. What do you think? What century? Um, uh, Jesus times. Fair. Okay. Well, it's seventeenth century. So we're, I guess we're like, woo! Uh, oh, that was me. Oh, we were early, man. Yeah, we were really late, early. As late as the sixteen hundreds, people were banging piles. I can't believe they didn't figure it out earlier. I know. Yeah, I, I feel like you got sailors on the ocean. Lonely. Yeah. Also, did the gay ones? I guess they had each the other. Leg? I guess. <laughs> the rag and up the hair and like turn it around. Like, what? Did, what did you do? What if she wasn't your type of rag lady? We don't know. Um. Okay. In 2014, a farmer used a blow-up doll as a scarecrow, but eventually caused a number of car accidents of passerby's. Uh, and. Man, I'm sorry, I didn't actually answer that question, but I knew the answer. That's good. Um, and yeah, 2015, a farmer used a blow-up doll as a scarecrow. After unsuccessfully having a bag attached to a stick, that wasn't working. I wonder why. Uh, but eventually, yeah, he had to take it down because he caused, like, hundreds of accidents for people just being like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's some person in the field. What country was this in? Mm. Uh, what country? I'm going to go to the United States. <laughs> Right, you just say Florida. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say something like uh like Nebraska. Oh yeah, that's but, a good guess. Yeah. You know. I made something like that. Mm -hmm. I wanna say Norway. Oh. That's I'm cute. gonna go with the Dutch again, the Netherlands. It's Germany. <laughs> Germany. Uh, <laughs> I love the idea of some like little German farmers like I don't know why they keep crashing their cars in front of my place. It's like they've never seen a plastic woman with her mouth open permanently. I don't understand. Um, He's just my wife. Also, the fact that he originally tried to get away with it like a bag on a stick. Like, yeah. Do you want to see the most beautiful thing to scare a bird away? I don't understand. Like, there's just this weird just the idea of like a thank you white bag. <laughs> And then some deer coming in to be like, oh, I'm going to go yell, oh, the hell is that? And it rustles, like, runs away. Ooh. Love for that to be a real thing. But it's not, sadly. Poor German. Is that a stick in a bag? Ah! Okay, in 2008, 20 couples were set to renew their vows in a big ceremony on Valentine's Day. Barf. Uh, but one woman's husband had to work. Um. So her friends bought a male blow-up doll, put his picture on the front of it, and dressed it up in a tux. And she got renewed, renewed her vows to a doll. What state is this in? Oh, now this is when you say Nebraska. <laughs> uh, give me a minute to think about that. <laughs> I'm just going to say Florida. It. it sounds like a romantic. It, it sounds like a Las Vegas thing, which is what uh, my first thought was, which is what yeah. Tucker just said, Nevada. But then there's um, that one, what was that one cult that did all the group marriages? It kind of sounds like that could be. <laughs> yeah, I was going to go to like, I was going to say maybe Utah. Smart. <laughs> a good guess. It's good. Sounds else? like a game show concept. <laughs> right. That could be Texas, though. You know, like, Texas is kind of crazy. It's, Louisiana. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio. You know, the romantic. Gosh. Cleveland. I would have never guessed that. The most romantic city. Ohio's for lovers, you know. It's, what? uh, you know, it's where rock and roll was born, right? These are interesting. These are interesting yeah. questions and interesting <laughs> facts. I'm glad I'm learning all this. <laughs> I feel so smart. I'm so ready for that section of trivia when they ask about blow, <laughs> blow you know what you, you know they say you learn something new every day. You never so knew that like, you need this, and now we're yeah. here. See, but now um, you know it. Yeah. Now yeah. this is your. Yeah. When you guys go home for Thanksgiving, make sure to tell your parents all about the stuff you learned from blow up Absolutely. Uh, okay, this one's <laughs> this is so dark, but I I love it. Uh, where did a British bachelor party? get arrested for taking pictures of pictures with a blow up doll in front of while they were on a weekend in New York city. So where in New York city would someone get arrested? I don't know. Where did they get arrested? British bachelor party. Mm. For Mark. taking pictures with a blow up doll. Yep. In front of some landmark. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming. Okay. Yeah. It's gotta be ground zero. Or okay. Like, I mean, I'm thinking like more, I'm thinking, I'm going morbid here for some reason, but I was thinking the Dakota. That was the first thing that popped into my Whoa. mind. Oh, 
Which was, was it, I hope it's not that. Is it the I Twin Towers? Yeah, yeah. Girl, it's, gra- it's ground, ground zero. zero. Twin Towers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got, they got in trouble. Yeah. It was also three days shy of the 15th anniversary of 9-11. But they were, and my I was, all the comments on the article were hilarious. Too soon. Too soon. It was like, all these American people like, how disrespectful. And I literally just got on and I was like, I bet your ass has ordered an Irish car bomb in your day and didn't understand what that was problem with. Right. Like, Google it. Of course, it, yeah. Take your pictures of your blow-up dolls. This is America. They should be able to take pictures there. But damn it. Was kind of funny. I don't know why it made me laugh so hard. Can you imagine the fucking cops being like, "What are those dudes doing with that naked woman at Ground Zero?" And then come to find out they're just taking pictures with a weird, gross sex doll. Bachelor parties are weird. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Interesting fact. Florida, two thousand and nine. Yeah, here we are. Police response right. to uh, reports of lewd and lascivious activity in a grocery store parking lot, and when they pull up, they see a huge brood of people. A huge brood of people surrounding a car. Um, and this guy is shirtless from they they can't see from the waist down because the car is full of two blow up dolls that he's like taking turns making out with and he's waist deep in what kind of unwrapped or wrapped candy? Oh no! Waist deep in a his car is full of candy, making out with two blow up dolls topless. Is it tootsie unwrapped or wrapped? They're wrapped. They're wrapped. Okay, that's. That's, I guess, better. Uh, for some yeah, reason, well, that it seems like it's answer. better. Is it gummy bears? <laughs> Good guess. But, but like, no, you said it, it's wrapped candy, unwrapped candy. Yeah. Wrapped. Wrapped, wrapped yeah, candy. Wrapped. Wrapped. Okay. Well, then, no with the gummy bears. Because probably feel better unwrapped. <laughs> is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Kim's like, someone get me 4,000 gummy bears. Yes, I had a penis. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, uh, wrapped candy. Uh, Twizzlers. Cute, cute guess. Nobody's guessing any chocolate here? Nobody? Oh, uh, yeah. Is it melted, uh, I guess? That's I, 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 man, I, I want to guess like. Fudge. Fudge. <laughs> Rolos. It was literally up to his waist in peanut, Reese's peanut butter cup two packs. <laughs> no, don't tell me that. Can you I imagine how and flat and trying to imagine what the bottom are now? I'm trying to imagine. Don't imagine what it. this scene looks like. <laughs> they should make that into one of those Reese's commercials. Oh, because you know everybody eats Reese's differently. <laughs> you got <laughs> you got your chocolate and peanut butter on my penis. What the hell? So I eat you got your penis on my chocolate and peanut butter. I should blow up all of my reads, damn it, no. That's uh, have y'all ever uh, Google searched Florida man and then your birthday after it? Oh, no. I've heard about this, but I've never you done should it. should definitely, everyone on the internet, do that immediately. It's really great, because then you get a different picture of a Florida man in story. And just, just read the headline. Wasn't mine, it's... like, used an alligator to rob a bank or something? Or, Probably. Hers or mine, I can't remember, but... Some man walked into a bank with an alligator as a weapon. Was like, shh, shh, come on, get out of here, small alligator. Yeah, I wanted it to be like, oh, like a, like a, I wanted, yeah. like a helicopter whip or something. Yeah, he just comes like a bullet yeah. alligator. Also, Omar uh, Ferreira. Oh, says, bitch! You want to do? Read it, read it, read it. No, why not? Uh, okay, Omar says, Tugger Sam, I miss seeing you guys live. Aww. Oh, nice. Aww. I'm we miss playing down. live. We miss seeing you live. Mine is Florida man feeds alligators hot dogs. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. I'm not even kidding. It says that. Are you arrested? Florida man. Well, yeah. Uh, well, I just said that. I don't know. Let's see. Florida man sentenced to two and a half years in prison for having sex on a beach. There's many. There's many different ones. From my yeah, there's, there's some good ones. Doesn't surprise My, me. Mine is Florida man commits murder over oh. imaginary girlfriend. Yes! <laughs> so good! That's, That's a great, great one. Great. Imagine. No. That's no. a really good one. Every, Actually, yeah. Wait, can oh, <laughs> Mine's really good. Florida man arrested for throwing sausages at his mom. <laughs> Cute. All right, one more for me. <laughs> This is crazy. I don't even understand. Uh, 
Florida man with no arms charged with stabbing Chicago tourist. How did he stab them? <laughs> with his mouth? Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. maybe one of those like James Bond shoes with the blades in them. I was going to say his ear hole. <laughs> <laughs> He's just wearing like a instead of like a headlamp, it's a knife, and you can just oh. be like, Ooh. like, yeah, like that, that like Charlie that, the like, Unicorn, yeah, that go fish game you used to play with like a headband that had a magnet on it, but it just actually, it's a knife. Well, actually, it's funny that uh, the imaginary girlfriend thing. It's kind of the second to last question is in August, uh, in in Australia in two thousand nine, a man was arrested after breaking into four different sex shops having sex with a blow-up doll, and then dumping their bodies in the alley behind mm-hmm. said sex shop. They were all four different places, but he, and out of all of the choices at all four of those places, he picked the same brand doll. Can you take a wild guess at just what kind of, what her name was, what the doll's name was? This was just fun. I just think, first of all, the man is clearly a serial killer in the making. What the actual- What year was it? 2009. Mm-hmm. I don't know, Brittany. <laughs> That's a good one. I was you're like, like Brittany blow me or something like that. I was gonna say Brittany too, but uh... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, full disclosure: we have a blow up doll that we bring to shows. That yeah, we, that that was modeled after Britney Spears, I guess. It looks nothing like her. It looks like your typical uh, Except... blow up doll. <laughs> it just I has blonde know. hair. It kind of looks like her nowadays. It's sad. Hashtag free Britney. <laughs> uh, was the uh, the doll's name Kim Stacy? No, was the it? doll's name was Jungle Jane. Oh. I just Jungle. love it. None of the other girls were good enough for this dude. <laughs> he just had okay. to get Jungle Jane. Had to have her four separate times. But that doesn't seem PC to me. But see, this is the thing: is that he was so specific. His MO was so. He was literally targeting not, you know, the same types of people the same actual blow up doll over and over again so they just waited they uh gave a shipment of jungle james to the fourth uh sex shop so when he called and asked if they had it they had already like like they planned they basically did a whole plant and i caught them out yeah and wow. they were like, but his whole thing was like i'm not hurting anybody like, actually, yeah, you're not you're not actually raping or beating or like leaving in a body in an alleyway but it's, it's fucking breaking an entry and stealing and also just gross, man. Well, who are you trying to pretend that you're the moral superior voice in this? It's a very, it's a great article. I'll use put a it sock. In. Just use a sock. Oh, speaking of stuff, the Florida guy that was in the car with his Reese's peanut butter cups when he was arrested, they found out that he had modified his underwear so his penis was out the whole time, but it was under all of that this stuff. This is way too much thought. So modify your you underwear. Don't boys have like that lazy ass little like shoot anyway? Like what do you have to modify your underwear? There's already a hole in the front of most men's boxers anyway. Where? There's four holes technically in a set of male boxers. Two legs, a, a torso, and the, the pee hole. How do you modify underwear to have any more holes than that? Um, maybe what like you... it had like a kind of like a bag had... or something. Maybe he had boxer briefs that didn't have a hole. I mean, then just buy specific underwear. You can just buy the boxer Why even wear the underwear <laughs> at that point, you know? Spend all his money like on I'm going to cut out a special hole. <laughs> yeah, he spent too much money on candy. This is Mom, I spent all my money on candy. Can I have money for Andy's? Yeah. Mom, I can't um, start making out with my blow-up dolls in a parking lot full of crowded people covered in candy. Someone call... I- fucking therapist back well is is uh being obsessed with blow- doll- dolls like better or worse than being obsessed and sexually attracted to uh like floaties because there was that oh. episode of my strange addiction or whatever yeah like there's that woman that legally married a, a carnival ride oh yeah that's good she and there was like last name yeah <laughs> and there was like some guy who is was in love with all of his blow up floaties. Yeah, I love I that know. guy. Oh. Whatever floats your boat in my book. But um, uh, especially if anything, pretty sure he did have a big inflatable unicorn. Pretty sure. And it was like an inner tube, right? And he would just kind of walk around this house and I don't even he had a pool, but I don't think he was ever in it. He was just walking around. No. But that kind of makes me sad though, because that used to be my thing is that I used to like make videos of me and inner tubes and like i have a large floaty collection and then it just kind of peered <laughs> off after i saw that you're like am i this guy am i, I know and i was like oh 
Did they just, like, is this a reenactment and they just replaced me with this creepy man? There's that one guy who fucked his car. And the car's name is a boy's name, but he said the flashlight he's attached to the back of the car is, is a girl, so he's not gay. And he, for some reason, he was, like, hung up on the fact that people would think he was gay. I'm like, no, people are upset you're putting your dick in your car. That's what people are upset. No one is mad. If you were just gay, I think 100,000 more people would be like, man, we support you. You're not gay. You bang cars. It's creepy. Just Sir, like- this is a Prius. Have some respect. <laughs> Sir, please. Um, the last There's that Queen song, I'm in love with my car. Yeah. That's kind I don't of know. That Source guy, of inspiration? Yeah, he heard it too many times as a kid and was like, oh, I get it. I finally get it now. I he really know what this is about. <laughs> he was like, I'm going to bury this gay thing and I'm just going to start banging cars. I, I, it's much easier for me to just have sex in my car than tell my mom I'm gay and thought I had a crush on Freddie Mercury. I'm just going to listen to him and bang my car. You know. Aww. This last question is my, is the, I mean, I think this one is maybe the only one that most people might maybe know because it came out in a tell all this journalist wrote in 2015. Um, but what U.S. president once put a blow-up doll in a journalist friend's bed while they were on vacation in the Caribbean. Bush. Huh? Bush. Bush. Pick one. Bush W? You talking about W or Bush, Daddy Bush? Both of them. <laughs> Take your pick. I'm going to go Bill Clinton. Oh! I was going to say Clinton, too. Yeah. <laughs> Girls, it's Tricky Dick. Richard Nixon put a blow up. Ah, uh, of course it was him. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, the only the people I've asked that almost immediately say Clinton. And then they immediately follow up with Trump. Oh, that's, yeah. Uh, that's I didn't even thing. consider Trump. Yeah. But what about yeah. Bush? Bush was pretty, you know. He was a prankster. He yeah. Was, uh, yeah, I was going to say dumbass. I could also see LBJ doing it, you know. He was sort of oh. like a funny guy. I mean, I didn't I know him personally. He <laughs> was crude. hilarious. Yeah, he's pretty crude. Pretty crude Can you imagine dude? like waking up like you're some weird nerdy political journalist and you're on a stags weekend with your political friends in the Caribbean and you roll over and there is a plastic jungle Jane staring at you. <laughs> like, I don't even, oh God. I think that's scarier than a real person being in your bed when you wake up. Like, what we, uh, <laughs> when we got the idea for the blowies, we were actually... Uh, in a in a little town in east texas and uh we stayed at somebody's house after a show and they had a blow-up doll in one of the beds that we were staying at (laughs) that's how that's how we got the band name (laughs) i wonder if i can find the photo yeah probably not i'll add that to my blow-up doll trivia so the world will know yeah great trivia thank you yeah this guy also had a, a pretty robust collection of I guess was it sex toys or uh, they're they're odd trinkets. They were like it wasn't sex toys, but it was like a lot of like really naked action weird, figures. Yeah, like a lot of really yeah. weird like things and yeah. I don't know. It was like there was like a shrine. Yeah. Wait, where where was this? This was a Airbnb. <laughs> this no. was in uh, uh, <laughs> no. Uh, is it? Hold on. Is it an Airbnb? Where... Just asking for a friend. Right? No, it was the it was somebody who Booking. was affiliated with the venue oh, okay. that we played at. Yeah, and it so, was in East Texas. Okay, we're in East Texas. Um, in a town was called it? Vinton. Vinton. Oh my gosh! Which yeah, is outside I, of Beaumont, just east of Beaumont. Yeah. And uh, man, I think that that town is has a reputation for being the like one of the most racist. No, no, not East Texas. What? <laughs> no, everyone there is just. I know, right? Everybody. I haven't met many people from Benton, to be honest. Oh, my mom lives in Longview, and it, it literally breaks parts of me off when I go visit her. And it's just. Yeah. Yeah. Eesh. I'm the darkest person there. <laughs> yeah, Kim. Like. Oh, no, I just go outside. I don't spend all my time sitting in high read Fox News and trolling people. It's really good bronzer. It's real good bronzer. Some people just, you know, get a little vitamin D. It's not a big deal. Who gives a shit? Yeah, vitamin D. Am I right, Come ladies? Uh, no, Kim, absolutely not. Uh, right. if, you, if you guys had a good time today, please, again, support them on Bandcamp. Support us on Patreon. Uh, we really love and depend on those, like, all of your support. And we really, really appreciate it. Uh, 
If you want to like, share, subscribe to our page, please do all of those things. Another huge thank you to our sponsors uh, and our spotlight tiers and all of our good Judies and patrons. Really appreciate you. Um, so please support them in the time of this quarantine and uh, help other artists out and other awesome nights out. Um, we don't, we're running out of time, but is there, how do we, where can people find your stuff? Like Bandcamp, Instagram, like where, where can people find you? Uh, Instagram is our main thing to follow. If you want updates from us, it's uh, at the blowies, right, Sam? At the blowies. And That's then uh, you can find us theblowies.com, and we're on all the streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you got, we're on it. So uh, we have also got an album coming out Woo! probably in November, right? October? No, sorry, October. Before yeah, we've got, a, we've got a deadline of November 3rd. Before November, yeah. That's yeah. It <laughs> Was it hard to get the domain name for theblowies.com? No. No. It was. It was was it open. just because it had the yeah. on it? Yeah, probably. But if it was we blowies, didn't, we didn't even search for blowies. <laughs> That's what I'm doing that. later. <laughs> You'll only find pictures of us. <laughs> just like these guys look really familiar. I did that once in middle school. I was doing a project at school, and they were like, "If you're searching for something, you know, just write it in there." And I just googled, like, I just went pigs.com. And all of no. those fat white men, gay men, came up, and they were what, just like, "What pigs. do you type in?" Just pigs.com. Oh, pig? Yeah, because I was doing a project oh, wow. on pigs. I didn't know that was a thing. Like, the... yeah, well, back then it was, and I was just like completely terrified that I was going to get in trouble. Also, I guess that was before locks on the internet in schools. Right. Yeah, just, you were in a school in some library. Yeah walk by like dear god what are you doing over here? she was like oh you're into that too yeah. she's touching her glasses <laughs> like squelching in the sounds of leather rubbing up against each other and someone's like some some gay librarian in there was like no 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 no, no. like they're like someone's on my computer no <laughs> no uh, <laughs> uh dolores uh if you're having a hard time with this uh streaming i apologize uh we've been told that Sometimes it has to do with uh, your connection. So I'm not blaming you, but. <laughs> also, um, we record all of it's these. Pr and we do it's, probably, it's probably my mom. You know. <laughs> that's, I mean, we do, you do have like, we save all these backup recordings and we do have a clean version and that's the version we end up inevitably posting. So yeah, don't worry about. Um, so don't worry, Dolores and Jonathan, like we got you. It's going to be okay, we promise. But they both say that you're awesome and go blowies. Go blowies. Oh, I love it. I love the Jonathan Fox. I thought maybe it was just me, but yeah, the connection keeps working every few seconds. I don't know why, but whenever someone opens it, I thought it was just me. I get, I, everyone relates to that paranoia. Like, am I the only one that doesn't have internet over here? Please. <laughs> it's true. No, but thank you all for joining us. We really appreciate you coming on the show and hanging out with us for a little bit. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, Chris is going to cut this live stream. Uh, we aren't doing, we aren't filming bonus Patreon content, are we? No. Uh, stay tuned. Yeah. Who knows? You maybe know. Um, uh, that'll be, especially for the uh, Blowies fans that are on here, we'll let you know if we've got exclusive content for you coming. And we'll keep it going. But hey. thanks for being here. Thanks well, again. Thank you. Here's an awkwardly long goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.